Welcome everyone, I'm Mehmet Karaja from Shining3D and in this video I want to introduce you the new software for the Einscan SE and SP which is more user friendly and has more functions than the older software. Of course when you enter the software it will ask you if you have the Einscan SE or the Einscan SP model. In this case we are using the Einscan SP model. So I choose it and then I just create a new work where I choose my folder. And then here in the next step, I can also choose if I want a texture scan or a non-texture scan. Um, and also you can choose a global marker file, which is um, that you scan. Before you do the scan, you can also scan the markers around the object or on the object. And then you can scan, you can um, save these markers as a references, as reference. And then you can also open it here as a global marker file, which will help you to scan um, difficult parts. Um, when I enter it here, you will see on the left top I can now adjust the brightness depending on the part, if it's dark or white. Here you have the function HDR and with turntable. HDR will help you to scan parts with different kind of um, brightnesses. When you have black and white parts, for example, you can choose the turntable option and you can also choose here the turntable steps, how many you want. In this case, I will just use 10 steps. You have the different alignment modes, um, turntable code, the targets are when the software, um, that the alignment will be done with the coded targets. The turntable alignment is um, doing the alignment with calculating the steps on the turntable. You can choose features if you have enough features on the object or you can also choose here the markers on the object. Um, and another thing you can also click here on work and then you will see your project. And once you are ready with these settings, you can just go and click start. And then the scanner will automatically start scanning, doing these 10 steps in the 360 degrees. And then you also see the signal scans which are made. Here on top you also see how many scans you already did. It's the ninth and soon we will also do the tenth scan and it will be finished. So once you are done you have your 3D model already. You can see which areas you scanned and which areas you didn't scan. The bottom part for example is missing um, and then for this one you can just turn the part so that also the bottom part can be seen and can be scanned. So I just place the part like this. I can click on apply edit. And then I can do again the settings. Um, how many steps I want and also the other settings. Here on work I will see the different groups and even the single scans that I have done. And here you can also see the single scans in the, in the 3D model. Once you are done with the settings, you can click on start again. And then also from this part now, it will do the 10 scans, which I wanted. For sure for this one, you can also choose less. As you could see, um, you can also choose more, depending on you, also depending on the part. And once the scan is done, the software will try to align automatically these two different groups together. If the scanner has seen enough features, enough overlap area, and then you have the options, either it will do it automatically, or if there are not enough overlap, you can also do it manually. Okay. 
okay with this group we are also finished now we also have the bottom part I click on apply edit and then you can see it automatically aligned these two groups Group 1 and also Group 2, what we did now. And then there are some parts missing, you can see. On the object, it's not a problem at all. You can now just turn the part or move the part to a position where the scanner sees more, or where the scanner sees more, the areas which it couldn't scan before. And then what you can do on the scan settings, now for example we just want a single shot so we don't want to use the turntable. You can just turn it off and here with this position also on the left top you see what the scanner sees. The scanner will now just do one shot of this position. And then as before the scanner will try to calculate to align these different scans if there is enough overlap and in this case it aligns automatically again. The single scan function is very useful when you have a part and it's hard to reach this part when you use the turntable. So you can just use the turntable from the top, from the bottom, you can scan your part and then you can also move the part to a position to scan these not scanned areas by doing single shots. Also here, as you can see, we have the single scan. It's also automatically around, aligned. For this you can also use other some small objects to hold the position of the object, of the scan object, so as the scanner can see these not scanned areas. One more time, a single shot. Okay, looks good. And this time you can see, for example, it didn't align because it's exactly these parts where the, the areas are missing. So it couldn't align, but no problem. You can go here on the right side to the alignment mode. And here you can choose the group one is the scan, which I did before with the turntable. And the other one is the single shot. And then here you see the diff two different parts or two different scans. And then I just position them to understand how is it. And here with the alignment you can just choose three common points between these two scans, two models. And then the software will automatically align these to two different scans. Also that part. Once you click the third point it will automatically calculate and now as you can see it aligned it perfectly these two scans. Once you are done, we can click on complete. And then you see the 3D model of this part. So another single scan from the parts which are missing here in the scan settings I will use the HDR mode now the HDR mode as I said is um, choosing different brightnesses it applies the different brightnesses so in this case you can also scan the black areas and also the white areas for example at the same time 
it takes a bit longer than a normal scan because it does these different brightness settings and scans with these settings. So it takes a bit longer than the normal scan, but still it's quite fast. Here you have it. On the bottom part you see the reference part, which helped me to position this part. If you don't want this, you can just choose it, just select it. And on the right side you have the options. You can deselect it if you selected something that you didn't want to select. You can choose a revert so that everything else is selected. You can do it again or you can just delete the uh, selected data. Once you are done, you click again on um, finishing. And then you see also here it was a bit less for the scanner that it couldn't align these parts, but no problem. You can anytime go use the alignment function, manual alignment function, and just choose three common points. It's here also with the points, they don't have to be positioned perfectly. It's just approximately the points around these points that they are quite in the same position. And then as you can see also here from the more from the bottom part, we can say we scanned a bit more and complete and then the model looks already quite good. I will just move the part to this side a bit so that from here on the right side of the model I scan a bit more. There is a bit more missing but when I also have this it will be quite fine I think. Also you choose the HDR mode here. You can choose the HDR mode I think every time when you use the single scan mode because it will just scan everything every the white parts black parts dark parts so it's very useful and it doesn't take it takes a bit longer but not that much still and then also this part we have so now the part looks quite well You can always scan more of the part, you cannot always scan it. Um, but for this part, for example, it's enough. If you want to do, for example, reverse engineering, it will be more than enough. Here you have the needed um, features. And then once you are ready, you can just go on the right bottom side to mesh. You can choose a watertight model, unwatertight model. You can also choose the option data optimization. And the data optimization will automatically calculate in which areas it should do bigger triangles and smaller triangles. In this case, I don't choose it, and I choose the unwatertight model. And then in a couple of seconds, you will get the mesh data. You can also zoom here and see the details, the quality of the scanner. The parts, it looks quite fine. Then you have different options on the right side. Here, for example, hole filling, you can choose manual hole filling or automatic hole filling. You can just click on manual hole filling and then it will automatically calculate how many holes it sees and then on the left side you can choose between curvature, tangent, flat, how you want to um, close these holes or this one hole. So you can choose here, let's say curvature for this one you want to close it. You just choose it, you can go and apply and close. 
and then the software will close this part you have the option sharpen um, here you can also choose between low, medium, high, you can click on apply you can go on smooth for the surfacing for example if you want the smoother surfacing you can choose here the percentage on how smooth you want the part you can go on simplification here you can see um, how big the STL or the OBJ file is or how many um, polygons you have and depending on your software or depending on the application what you want to do afterwards you can um, simplify it, get a smaller part and also here on the right top you have the measurement button you can go there and here you can for example create features points, lines, planes you can just choose an area which you would like to have for example here a standard point you see also the position of the point you go on create here with the line point to point function so you can just choose two points you will see the coordinates of these points create and also a plane for example with three point fit one two three Here also the coordinates and once you are done you can click on create and then you will see these features here you have your feature list where you can check again which features you have on this part created here measurement you can also measure the part in distance for example you choose two points and then you get the difference in the x y z axis surface area you can also calculate the surface area um, you just choose it and then it calculates this area very fast. The volume you can also do if you do a watertight model. In this case I chose an unwatertight model. So it tells me to have a watertight model or here you also have the movement. For example if you want to place the part already to the origin that later you can use it easier in your software. I just choose the plane and the line at the point that I created and when I click on move you will directly see that the, that the part will move to the origin and then now you also have your coordinate system directly and your object directly in the origin point point. and then that's it for the video I thank you for joining